came out without scissors every single week. Like, <laughs> always have a freaking box to open and no doggone scissors. What's up, tribe? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me again. If you are new here, I want to send you a special welcome to my new segment, What's New Wednesday, where every Wednesday I try something new, either a product or a new activity that I've never done before. I figured this would be a fun way to keep life fresh and interesting while in quarantine. So let's go ahead and get into it. This video is sponsored by Majosi. Majosi is a company that makes both press on nails as well as lashes, and they sent me a discount code for a bunch of press on nails well that's what I ordered I could have ordered lashes too but I feel like that would have been like a waste because they would have sat for so long as you can see I have plenty of my own nails even though that one broke we'll go with this hand instead I have plenty of my own nails and I have never tried press on nails ever before I rarely do gel I've done acrylic like once way way back in probably when I was like 14 and I've never tried like dip powder or anything like that this is usually typically how my nails look but I want to do something different I'm ready for a change so I figured why not order a ton of press on nails because they're not supposed to take that long right hopefully Ooh, these are quite pretty actually. So, ooh, I think I'm gonna go with these. Have I chipped our Eddie? Oh no. Ooh, yes. So I got six sets of nails and these apparently are like reusable so you can take them off week to week and then reapply them. And I also got some different nail shapes. So I got like some square round. I got some coffin. And then a pair of stiletto, because who doesn't love a good stiletto? And which one should I go with is the question. Ugh, this is like a tough decision. So I think I'm actually going to go with the stiletto nails. So here we go. Why am I out without scissors every single week? Like, <laughs> always have a freaking box to open and no doggone scissors. I also appreciate that the instructions are like right there on the back. So it's pretty it seems pretty cut and dry let me not speak too fast it seems pretty cut and dry i don't know how cut and dry is actually going to be in reality i'm already dropping stuff oh but i messed them up already dang 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 so i'm supposed to choose the best nail size to fit my finger and set that aside obviously the thumbs are the thumbs are pretty obvious it's just about how <gasps> I'm gonna have to cut my nails for this. I don't know if I want to do this anymore. I'm actually gonna have to cut my nails for this and I certainly don't know if I want to do this anymore. <laughs> Man, my nails are nice and thick too. Oh crap. Oh, I must got some fat pinky fingers, y'all. Dang, these little skinny things are not gonna fit my nails. Let's see, this one, this one might. No, it doesn't fit over the whole nail. Let's go with this size then. Maybe? What am I doing with my life? Focus. Okay, so I finally got which ones actually fit my nails sort of-ish together. I'm gonna see how well they fit once they actually go on. But now it says to wipe each nail using the alcohol provided. Oh, that's strong. That is strong. My nails, wiping my nails, wiping my nails, wiping my. Whew. This alcohol has a weird type of like fruity smell to it. I don't even know how to describe it other than that. It's a little stinky though. Step three apply a thin layer of glue to the back of the nail and to the natural nail. I'm actually gonna go ahead and push one of my cuticles back a little bit just to make sure my nail is good and ready to receive. I don't know, I have no clue what I'm doing. Instead of using the glue, I'm gonna use these little stick-on things that they give you because I'm not trying to like completely ruin my nails by doing this. Here, I think I'm gonna peel this off. Ooh, okay. So I'm pretty sure how this works is I stick this on my nail first. Hopefully this is how this works. Yep, stick it on a nail. And then I peel the little film. There we go. Wasn't pressing firmly enough. So I used their little nail sticker thing actually, and that's on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my first. 
Now, let's see how this works out. I hope this one is the right size, because if not, I'm pretty much screwed. Okay, so I'm gonna push this down for 15 seconds. Okay, and it's, oh, it's really on there. It's definitely for sure on there. It's a little crooked though. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit crooked. I try to put a closest, like cl as close as possible to the cuticle, but it's certainly a little crooked. I didn't show you guys what the stickies look like. See those? I don't know, they're pretty transparent, but they're actually fairly easy to use. So I'm digging them because there's no glue involved. Yes, this is a type of adhesive, but at least it's not glue, which is pretty damaging or can be pretty damaging to your nails. Okay, same process. Push it on and you hold it down for 15 seconds. Probably could have done two of these at a time realistically, but whatever, I didn't really move my cuticles in the way I needed to for this one. You're the world's smallest cuticle stick, I swear. Like, it's wood. Y'all could have gave me something just a little bit bigger to work with. Mm, don't get any ideas, people. I mean, technically this manicure stick is really for the removal process, but whatever. I'll use it for what I want to use it for. Girl, your thumb is dry. Jesus, this cuticle is dry and dry. But it's from all the hand washing though. Seriously, like this hand washing is killing my cuticles as well as like my knuckles. My knuckles are so dry. I mean, my skin in general is dry, like unlike my personality. Ooh, okay, okay, I'm not mad. I'm actually not mad. Ooh, I'm not gonna know what to do with myself, y'all. I got claws now. Wow, wow, wow. Ooh. Okay, so I am done. That was not too bad. I was expecting it to be a little bit more taxing, but it wasn't too bad. I can't say that they look the greatest for my first time doing it, but I would definitely say that it was an easily application process. Now I'm just gonna clip basically those edges off of my own nails so I can fully file them properly. I should have definitely cut these before I did this. How freak. My nails are like so freaking hard. I mean, which is a good thing because they're nice and strong, but right now I can't actually cut through, which is, I don't know where that flew to, but okay. My nails are truly fighting this process. Maybe this was not a good idea. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could actually hear that, but geez. Hey, at least it's not my toenails. Just saying. Okay. I can get behind these. Like as a quick, just like I need to do my nails real quick or if I had somewhere to go. Like I definitely had somewhere to go a couple of weeks ago and I would have liked to get my nails done, but obviously COVID, I ain't going out to the nail salon to get that done. So I would definitely like use these as like a temporary type of solution for not being able to go to the nail salon to get my nails done. I don't think that they look bad. I mean, you guys can tell me, I didn't do like the, I don't feel like I did like the absolute best job for, I don't know, maybe I'm being self-critical. I don't feel like they look the absolute greatest, even though it was my first time around, but I don't think they look like the worst they could possibly look either. So on a scale of one to 10 of easiness, I will give them like a nine or a 9.5. These were pretty easy, at least to put on. I don't know how easy they're gonna be when it comes to taking them off. It says that all you need to do is soak them in warm water for several minutes and just gently use this tiny, tiny, tiny cuticle. I don't even know if you guys can really see that. This tiny, tiny, cuticle stick to go ahead and gently remove them from each side. So like I said, I don't really know how the removal process is gonna go, but definitely trying these out for the first time, I can see why people are attracted to just doing press on nails. It goes super fast and it's pretty easy and not too complicated to do. I think the longest part of the process honestly was finding and figuring out which nails actually match my nail size, which I don't feel like I got it necessarily spot on, but I did the best that I could do. I do feel like they add a little bit of pizzazz. I thought I would kind of like hate the shape of them, but I don't. I feel like I'm gonna be doing this a whole lot now just because I got my little nails on. Just kidding, I naturally talk with my hands anyway. They're definitely very pointy and very like 
cat-like too. The only con I actually have to add to these is the fact that like the very edges of them where the tips are, they could have just rounded them like out a little bit more. I don't know if they were kind of leaving it for you to bring it to a like super duper point if you wanted to file it, but they're kind of like oddly enough squared off at the very, very tip, which I am not a fan of. Still super easy to file, but I mean, why do the extra work if they can just make them a little bit rounder? But that's like pretty much the only con that I have to these. So yeah, this was actually quite fun. And like I said, it was a little bit like almost like relaxing and therapeutic to just go ahead and do this. I'm really looking forward to trying out the other nail shapes that I got and some of the other patterns and colors. And I'm sure like anything, else practice makes perfect the more i do it the better i'll get at doing it not like that y'all well guys that's all for this video be sure to check out my josie nails the link is in the description below and let me know what you guys think of these do you like them do you not are you a fan of press on nails don't come for me y'all for cutting my dog on natural nails like they were gonna get cut at some point anyway they will grow back i will be fine but definitely let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and if you have any tips, add those too. Because this is ain't too proud to ask for help. You guys already know what to do. Give us a like, share us a ton, subscribe to join our tribe. I am sending you all positive vibes and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.